All right, guys. Here we are again today. Uh, I'm walking through the house, but um, we are going to head to the garage up front here. Just going to grab a Gatorade on the bridge. And we are going, the gate is in the, the red car, still being a little funky here. Ooh, that way. So I got the instrument cluster pulled out already and we're gonna split it and I got the gauges out of the other one that I know worked. So I'm gonna go ahead and install those into this gauge cluster and hopefully everything will be kosher. If not, fuel problems, probably something with the sending unit. And we'll see where we go from there. So let's get right into it and uh, show you how to split this gauge cluster apart. Okay, so we came back into the house here because it's, yeah, I'm gonna use the pool table as a little workbench here to pull this gauge cluster apart. And we got nine screws in the back here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, and three. So we're gonna go ahead and pull those out. And make sure these washers go back on underneath the nuts. So now we should be able to split this guy apart just like that. Set that side over there. And now we have our instrument cluster out. So we can go ahead. Pull these gauges out very carefully, just like that. They really don't look, doesn't really look all that bad, but we're gonna swap them out and see what happens. There's one. And there's two. So, simple as that. Pull the old ones out. Pop the new ones in. Easy. Piece of cake. Now we just gotta put it back together. All right, now we're all back together. We got our nuts on, all our screws in. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it on the car, which is pretty straightforward, so I won't show you guys that. And then I'll check back in after it's reinstalled and we fire the car up and see if everything works. Here we go. All right, uh, we got everything thrown back together here. As you can see, I already got my seatbelt on, but uh, see what happens when we flip the key here well our fuel gauge isn't reading full anymore so that's a good sign so we may have fixed the fuel gauge by replacing it and let's drive it around a little bit and get it hot and see what the uh, temp gauge does here all right <clears throat> just got back from my little drive you know not too long of a drive 15 minutes or so but uh all our gauges seem to be reading right where we want them. I need to readjust that a little bit. I think I pushed the instrument cluster in a little too far, but uh, I can take care of that at a later date. But all our gauges are reading. That's good. That's what we wanted to see. So, I think that's it for today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe down below, and we will see you 
in the next one.